All right, so with a Gambit solo film that could be coming sooner rather than later, it's because it is revealed with the deleted plus credits scene that shows what Gambit's future is in the MCU, especially after Deadpool and Wolverine, and this is in one of the post credits scenes towards the end of the film, but it specifically shows Gambit in the void and what that might set up as well. And so I'm going to break it down this deleted plus credits scene that was posted on social media and just uh, break it down and I'm talking about in de details what, what it means for the X-Men's future of the MCU but for specifically a live action a Gambit movie as well and so if you're new here be sure to, to subscribe and hit that notification bell so I'm gonna on any future bits but now let, let's get into it and now with this deleted post credit scene that was posted uh, on social media by Ryan Reynolds and this is from Deadpool and Wolverine specifically towards the end of the film it, it, it's in like the the post credit scene and this is like uh, when Deadpool was in the TVA and we look at the monitors and we see uh, on one of them we, it shows a gambit in the void but uh, for, for what it, it actually shows and what could have, might have been the main post credit scene Is with Gambit that he he survived in the void, like he he did not die, and like he, he's like walking around to see that Cassandra's army and ha has been killed. But then no, we see him look, looking up, and in his eyes, uh, we we see a portal opening up, and that means that like he is going to be transported back into his main universe, or at at, at any point in the MCU's multiverse. And so speaking of which, like. And anything is possible now because he, even if y'all know the character of Gambit, he, he's, he's, like, he's like a super cool guy. He's a part of the X Men, and like especially he, he has cool uh, reflexes. And we we we, we see him in like uh, the X Men animated series, X Men '97, and even with a, a live action Gambit film. Oh, why everyone wants this now more than ever? It's because even after a Channing Tatum uh, brought this live, live action X Men character to life in Deadpool and Wolverine. On top of that, there was going to be a live action Gambit film coming with Channing Tatum as the character and his portrayal of it but that got interrupted and that film never happened due to Disney that bought Fox at the time but then with Ryan Reynolds like in the in industry that, that like basically a, like a brought back Gambit uh, from the grave and back from the dead and because it, because even if we all know that the Gambit film was never going to happen but even with Channing Tatum that appeared as a live action Gambit in Deadpool and Wolverine as part of the cameos and, and now like I mean everyone fell in love with him he's now a fan favorite character like this is like especially if you know these type of memes I'm about to make a name for myself here yeah. and now Gambit is so popular now and I'm thinking like they could get that a solo film out a sooner rather than later possibly within the, the MCU's timeline because we, we all know that the, the X-Men reboot film is, is coming to the MCU in, in like a 2026 or or 2027 like after Secret Wars but just with the idea of a live action Gambit film which is something that we've never even gotten played by Channing Tatum and like, even now he, he, he has been in, in interviews especially on the Jimmy Fallon show and he has talked about like uh, how much he, he wants a live action Gambit film he's like, actually like like he, he, he's been wanting this for a long time like, to see a Gambit in live action and, uh, and for me, I would love to, to see a live action Gambit film. I thought he he was one of like like uh, one of those the best and cool cameos in Deadpool and Wolverine. And even with my re reaction of when he appeared on screen, and the, everyone was, was like cheering and, and like everyone was so happy that like I mean uh, Gambit is now in, in the MCU played by Channing Tatum, and that leaves the door open to many possibilities. Even for a while, I think a Gambit solo standalone film should happen now, like sooner than later. Because even after that deleted post credit scene, that it shows that oh, oh Gambit has survived. He he now he can now leave the void and go back to his universe. And this is something that like a, we have never gotten like a, a live action film. But like in, in terms of Channing Tatum's excitement and his 
enthusiasm and even for the, for the way that he delivered his portrayal to Gambit, it, it was absolutely ma magical and he just fits the character so well and plus I, I even like I enjoyed him as an, an anime character for when he was first introduced but he, he, even now like Gambit has more of a popular fan base and, and now with, with him getting a, a live action film that would be something I'll be seated day one in the theater. Also, with Ryan Reynolds and that I wanted to uh, bring back Gambit and have Channing Tatum uh, portray it in live action, uh, I think it's like the best de decision that they, that they have ever done. And, and now, with, with, with like a standalone film, and, and, and like, and even that Channing Tatum on a social media has like thanked Ryan Reynolds for that. Remember, is that after Deadpool and Wolverine is officially the mutant saga, and even with a Gambit film in live action, that is very possible now. Even with the mutant saga that is coming in Phase Seven, like after the multiverse saga, I'm guessing with Gambit now in the MCU, it is now very much possible and, and to get it out to the world and after the cancellation of like a live action film but like now like even with the Deadpool and Wolverine it was like a tribute to all the Fox characters on the Marvel era and specifically for the X-Men and that's something that I remember really, really, really loved but now even after Deadpool and Wolverine yeah we are definitely getting more of Gambit and I would love to see that in the MCU but in its own universe probably within its main continuity. And so for my final thoughts to wrap this all up is I really enjoyed Gambit and Deadpool and Wolverine and Channing Tatum portrays the character perfectly and I can't wait to see him more in the MCU's future, maybe for a live action film if Marvel and Disney ever decide to uh, greenlight that, that film. I mean, uh, what, what are you doing Marvel? We need that film. But uh, m m most importantly, uh, Channing Tatum is achieving his enthusiasm for, for the character and for his live action film. Like, I mean, he is so passionate about it and Gambit is, what, what is the, the more popular characters and if you, for him to appear in, in live action and like a film that everyone loved that, that, that cost over a billion dollars but but now with a, a live action standalone and game film it is definitely possible so i can't wait to see that on screen if they ever decide to get that thing into development and yeah i, I can't be more, more excited if that ever happens but, but that's gonna do it for this video just let me know in the comments below and know uh, what, what, what are your thoughts on this and uh, would you like to see a standalone a live, live action gambit film in the mcu and on the big screen played by trading tatum just let me know in the comments below don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the turn on notifications for future videos also follow all my social medias all which linked down below including my patreon and with that i'll see y'all in the next video peace